but yeah. We are back with changing perspectives. Uh, last time we uh, did shit. Um, we were in Natsuki's point of view. We were in Natsuki's perspective. And um, I think this is the day of uh, the festival. Oh wait, this is the day where they go over what they're doing for the festival, yeah, I think. In Act 1, yeah, this is still Act 1, so... Yeah. It's going cool. Stone going cold and it's going very, very cool. It's going so good, so good, so good. Sweet Caroline. Alright. So, yeah. Let's go. Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival version. So, well, this is how we're going to be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. Baking. That's right. Natsuki would be making cupcakes. But we only need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be putting in some like all the poetry pamphlets. So we have me design them. And as for Yuri, hold on, is uh, everything good? Everything is fine? Everything is perfect? Maybe just open up. Alright, sweet. Um, after I'm done with any constructions, I will, um, I will hop into your uh, playthrough of BCD Revisited. And I, I do want to get on the original version of um, BCD, but I don't know where to find it, and I don't know if Fluffy's website has the original version, or it just has the, um... Or just has the revisited version. Yep, gonna be great. It's gonna be great, dude. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's go. Let's continue. Yuri, you can, uh, um... Huh? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. N no! That's not it at all! You... You're the most talented person here, you know? I don't think my PC likes me trying to do Minecraft and Twitch at the same time. <laughs> it's fine, Kara. Oof. Well, welcome to the stream, Kara. Yeah, I'm finally getting back to change perspectives. I wanna, I wanna finish this. I want to finish this, and yeah, I do want to finish this. This is a mod that I've wanted to finish, but, you know, since I've never had the drive to stream, I never streamed it, and, you know, later, later, Ellie, later. So, we're in, we're in Natsuki's POV, this is, uh, Act 1, uh, we are going over festival preparations. Preparations for the festival, yes. Now Anoski's found too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never give Sarah enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case, but if I can also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow up as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So, you should make some banners and decorate some opposite of the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere! You use expressions and only change it. She's staying at her desk focused on starting nine to herself. She must be thinking of a lot of things. Your mind's already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leads you that. The only one who was truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could also help me out as well. I'd be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting a bat spend time with one of us? It's just for help, right? 
Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some day I can give you. It's not like Monica's gonna be a choice, and you shouldn't be singing your butt anyway. I try to mumble a bunch of excuses I can think of. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. That may not like to be around if you only make Matt to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations in any way? Sounds more like you're just making a suit for Bat to... What are you saying? It will be extremely ridiculous work. And baking isn't... Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's hold down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Bat to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend the hand with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry, it's just saying though. Jeez, can we just settle this already? Yeah, Bat, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, we all look at that. But of course, that's gonna go with... Nah. Of course. Well, baking sounds like it'd be fun, and you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking is a lot of fun, you'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that- that- that's because- Never mind, okay? It doesn't matter! Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. That's... good. Please, Yuri, don't we feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the phones is gonna be awesome. I forgot to get the update. I forgot to grab the update. Fucking... It. Ugh. Oh, well. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Bat? Me? Uh, yes, because I'm interested in the other out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Gary? Gary? She's still sulking. I'll stop pouting. It's not, I mean, it's not the big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. Huh? I think that Gary might actually be in the water underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help? That doesn't mean... Ugh. I'll look around with her expression. Look. I put hands on your shoulders. Yeah, me. You really are the most talented one here. And... And you're gonna help make the event a lot more fun and welcome. I mean, cookies will probably up a lot too, but you're gonna make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel in the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. I release my hands and turn around so I face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but I felt bad. I just need to make up for what happened. I guess I want to help you with confidence. I hope she understands. I know that bat will. I think it worked. Even if it wasn't perfect. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Oh, what happened? Oh! See everyone do their best, but with that, there's nothing left today, so I guess it's time for us to set out. Okay, but I'm staying here for a little longer. I barely got to do any meeting today, so fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. We all pack up our things. Bats about to fall, Monica and you're at the door to chat between each other. Um, why are you going? Uh, so much for your plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. That wouldn't be a problem. 
Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that's on my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not be weird or anything. Why would I do that? <laughs> I give that my number. Okay, I'm coming out on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that's something I'll be going to be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad's home. He's the one I don't want to meet in person. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. Sorry. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Let's just... Adjust. Anyway. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much, so you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just gonna give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone. That I was looking forward to this. That would be weird. Wait, really? Well, kind of, just because I ne never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. So I feel overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Ah. Oh. Never mind. Oh, wait. I can't believe this. I'm going with the Bass House. I guess Bat knew exactly who you wanted to go with. My anxiety is so shoot through the roof. I can't help but blush. I shouldn't feel like this, right? I blush more. I shake my head trying to get my head clear. Just have to wait till Sunday. That's all what I need to do. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club and I nothing of old here. I have nothing to actually worry about when it comes to hanging out but with that. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time with that. I then see you in front of me as we walk home. I suppose I didn't know so well as I thought. Hey, Yuri. I see you re-jumped. Guess she wasn't thought as well. Sorry, Yuri. I didn't mean to startle you. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I must have rather scared her if she's stuttering. Anyways, what did you want to talk about? I was mostly just curious about your plans for the weekend. Oh, I see. I suppose if you want to know, I can tell you. Am I? Am I good? Just make sure that I'm centered. Make sure that everything is indeed centered. I don't want to have it like this. Yeah. Well, like that. I can't play the game like that, so, you know. There we go. Oh, I see. I suppose if you want to know, I can tell you. Well, I'm probably going to do some shopping and work on a few ideas I have. How about you? I'll tell you only because I wouldn't be bad if I didn't. I see you shake your head slightly. Yes, I got a reaction. Of course you would say that. Of course, either way as for my plans. I'm even back at most of the materials while having the equipment. So you really are having him do the day work? Yep. I laugh at what Yuri said. Thanks for that, Yuri. No problem. I want another customer. Yuri nods. Say, if Bad would make a trust wanted to confess or not, what would he say? I wonder. I think Bat... Well, I... I said in Monica's playthrough that Bat confessed to... Natsuki. No, Bat confessed to Zeri, but I don't know what I want to do here. I want to go all the way Natsuki, so, uh... Confess. That was certainly a surprise, but that's your choice. Thank you for understanding. Well, we are getting close to our homes. See you Monday? See you Monday. We then depart. It's Monday. Oh wow, that was fast. Nope. 
day entry for Natsuki's thing? Got a chest from last night, I put it on. And then people will find Friday putting it in my pocket. I'll give Tonka on the way back. I woke up earlier than I wanted, but I'm sure that doesn't mind. I grab all the supplies and equipment that I need before walking out the door. I look into the house. I have today to look forward to. I shouldn't waste any more time. I then start heading over to Bath's house. It feels heavy in my, mind, in my hand, but with the upcoming events, I do it with ease. But I can't help but feel the weight of the equipment. I heard of Bath's front door and text him. Doesn't seem calling for that door from the door. Oh, yes, an all black shirt. What's up? Hey. Mouse reaction caught me off guard. Is it my over here to keep close? Or how are we doing on time here? Stream, hello? Okay, stream is doing good though. Is it my overly cute clothes? Jeez, it's making it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing them outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. Just get more water. I see you bought a lot of stuff. I'm kidding the back fall off the to get heavy out long though, I sit still. I didn't want to come all this way to find the kitchen and cook for the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Gosh, it wouldn't more of a pain to go and buy the stuff from them bake. Instead, we can now just bake. Good! Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. Am I coming through it to bat? You're a strange boy. Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not even gonna offer to take the food back from me? What's your hospitality, bat? Come on, since why do I get to be a gentleman? Just now? That grabs it back to me as I hold out. It's so ridiculously heavy. I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. Hehe. <laughs> seems so small, isn't it? Jerk. I hit Bet's chest. Hey, hey, you just have something to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, Sometimes it's like people get wrong and the only thing I watch my size. It's fun when I get to be small and nothing better than other people. But. Jeez, never mind. What do you make me say? I don't think you make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. I was on Bear Stall last night. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Haha. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you're just speaking around like that. Hey, now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I'm a mature and sexy figure like Gingry doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh, uh, I think about what I said and felt blush across my face. That's cute. Forget it! I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little considerate too. But also, that's what you're thinking. Then you should know that there are tons of guys who want to buy hats like yours. Ah, uh, how would... You know that anyway. Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey, was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get this started already. Get on sale when it go cause you gross. And finally find your weakness, Bat. Yes! I smell deviously. Please spare me. I should just have to spare my not, but for now I think I will. Stop pulling things out of my bag. Before long, Bat's kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty rolls, flowers, spill fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop that exists. And the mixer wasn't big enough for us to make all the batter at once, so we had to do it several times. So I watched Bat's movements guiding him through it. I don't want them to be mismatched. Pat, why'd you put the food coloring? 
That man's going in nothing soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still on the bag, Mr. Table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. And making each tray a different color. That way, even if flavor one different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, oh, that's a cute idea. He just... That idea cute. Are we doing anything like that with the oven? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference. Oh. Come on. You're not putting any cards to this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. Everything just isn't as fun. I wait, putting the food coloring to each of them. Ah, uh, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking just by following instructions. The presentation's where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it at the end if I just looking at it make everyone eyes uh, lighten up. Like the ones who made them hers there, huh? I think those have been my best ones. I want to top those someday. Yeah, maybe I'll use a food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you can really finish making the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. Oh, with the electric mirror so occupied, that was left from anyone mixing the icing with a whisk in a water bowl. Eh? The icing's so lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah, it'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be going on if you do it like that. Which I might actually not mind. Here, look. Take the bowl and whip from the bat and tilt the bowl back. This is how it's done. You will really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds of me using the whistle, the consistency of the icing has not improved greatly. See? I took some icing on my finger to prove my point. Bat does the same, but seems to be reluctant to do so. Hey! I grab his wrist. I don't want you to go swing with my icing. They're icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? That's what's fine back with my finger getting close to the bowl. Or maybe you the crap out of you next. I like to see you try. I feel that much harder. His finger nearly close enough. Best if it weakens and I pull with all my might. Ah! The force of my pull causes that to tumble with me also dealing with this. Gross! You got in my face! Whose fault is that? I feel ice in my cheek. Mm. I try reaching one of the time, but it's out of my reach. Jeez, you know what? Take this. What if I'm first to do is that instead? You wish! Huh? Back across my but the hand before my hand can reach his face. Try to smile the hand into my back, but you guys that one as well. Haha, <laughs> stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine, I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. Just fun to you react to it. You know this me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. It's embarrassing. Is that so? And that gets away, I shouldn't do this either. Bet takes my finger and licks the ass thing off of it. What? Did you seriously just... I'm so surprised I can even get mad at what had happened. I can only feel my face being covered with red. Pat, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? I'm too embarrassed to say anything else. It was the only thing that comes to mind. I just like it back silently. I thought the other side of my breathing is. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Eh? I have no way the fire alarm starts going off. I rush up to you even quickly. Is something burning? I thought you didn't pick up the thing yet. <coughs> no wonder. Don't let the new train, you dummy. How can you make a stick like that? You should object before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. I used to make a stick up to the little black tray. I then set on top of the stove, and at the moment the fire alarm finally stops. Anyway, I'm putting, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. Attention for them for still lingers. I'm sure if it's for that as well. But the moment's already been lost, it's pointless trying to get it back. I then slide the cupcakes into the oven being careful. And once I look up, I see Bat using the whisk again. Ah, that smells so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. I open the oven door and the house is filled with a sweet smell. Look at how cute they all look. I smile so probably show off the different colored cupcakes that eat the trace. They'll look even better once we have the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. I hand that some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I see Bat pick up one with a certain point. I'm pretty sure that's the stripes and patterns, possibly names. 
That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes for other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, have you ever or whatever? Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's lid driven, right? We can make it more lid themed by writing different wood on each cupcake. It'd be fun to see people choose a cupcake based on what they like. Uh, hmm? What's well, kind of exciting to see things look stupid, but that's actually a really good idea, so. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. But what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. I'm not supposed to be cute. Even if my dress is cute, my cup is so cute, even my actions. Come on, we're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect you to think you're cute. Well, my voice feels off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? No, no nothing. Let's just do the icing! I fast when they're all the bags trying to figure out the base of our work. Uh, there's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna give Vat a second to think. I then show Vat how to apply the icing. We then each get to work. Once we finish, I put them all side by side, like they will be at the festival. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh, I'll check it out one now. Well, there's no reason you can't. I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to see my appetite. I mentally need to get out of here, as my dad's gonna actually make me any dinner, especially after yesterday's comment. <laughs> Seriously, exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be done getting 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of this as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we could have time for Monica, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, oh, ready? That's a shame. If you fall working so slowly, you should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance. Man, it's your fault. You can really cook it tomorrow, right? If you say each care of something, you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. Don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. Something comes up about how bad I think. Should I dismiss it? I think it's just the day's attention to the hanging of the head. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. I'm already leaving for the day. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. I wish it lasted longer. But there's always tomorrow, right? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You should be having fun baking at me like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come up any time, okay? I think that's, that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to go out somewhere... Um, do you really mean that? I tend to stop looking with him back. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Eh, uh, I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I'd really stay here long if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... I can close to that. Wait, not keep I'm only inches away from Matt's face. I gently clutch the side of his shirt. I can feel a bosh across my face again. This is the thing I'm supposed to be doing, right? It's now or never. I felt it. For a while now. I jumped back. Sayori? Eh? Ah. Oh. Hi, Matt. Sayori! Just, um, we, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Pat. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? It's too bad. Well, yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't need any of the cookies before then. Anyway, later. I'm clearly flustered. I can't think of anything but her weapon scene. As I'm heading home, I remember I need to meet up with Monica. With her eyes so close to mine, I recognize it instantly. 
I then knocked on the door with Mark opening it not long ago after. Oh hey Natsuki, I was expecting to you today. It's suddenly Sunday. So how was you done with that? Yeah, it was fun! I'm glad it was. Kept is gonna be awesome! I'm glad that helped. I'm glad to hear. Can't wait to try them. So how's your poem? I have it right here. Hey, Mark, it's sheet paper. Her poem, ma'am. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> ma'am, this is a McDonald's, you know? I hope Monica doesn't mind it being the same poem as Friday. The other one was too personal. I still like this poem. It's fitting since I practice it. I'm glad I didn't have to write another one. It makes it easier for me. Well, I better get going. See you tomorrow. Yeah. I then walk away from Monica closing the door. After meeting up with Monica, I drive home. Finally. The blush of finally flew from my face with the day's events having ended. I walk into the kitchen thinking that house will end you for the time being. Hello, Natsuki. I look away slightly. That's right, he was coming today. Hello, Papa. I sit down with a small pen in front of me. I lift up one of the utensils and take a small bite. You came home awfully late. What were you doing? I know I wasn't working as hard as me. Preparing for the festival, which is tomorrow. What are you doing for this festival? Baking. Once again, you're baking. I work hard too, you know. You should be glad I didn't smash all the cookies you had made this week. I saw that you put quite a bit of work into them. Thought I'd let you live a lie for a little. Thought it'd be a little awkward. So it'd be a little bit of a war for work, maybe one sixteenth of what I work. You, you knew? Of course I knew. I'm your papa, and you should be glad that you have dinner in front of me tonight. I am glad. So where are the cupcakes? At Pat's house. Is it with the boy you like? Yes. I feel something in my face and a burning feeling. You should know I don't let you be around a boy you like. They'll take you away from me. You're protecting me. No, go to bed. We'll talk about this later. Don't worry, I'll let you be with that boy for the festival. Why must you be like this now? Oh my god, I feel those smack in this house before. I am your papa, remember that. Now you should go to your room. I then walk from my room, closing the door. I can still feel my cheek burning. I always hate these nights. I just wish back or save from this hell. I can't believe I still have to feed that brat. I work my freaking body and mind to the bone and I get nothing. Yet she goes along and wastes my time. So many jobs I have to do. Might as well beat it in the center to work. I feel the on my cheeks as I fall asleep. The day of the festival. The morning I awoke, my father had already left. I sighed with relief and got changed for the day. I then head downstairs. I grab an apple as I walk out. I don't need to be in this hell longer than I have to be. I close the door, not bothering to lock it. I then walk to school. I enjoy the scene as I walk. Sidewalks open light sound with my steps. It's not long till I see the glare of those closed windows. That better be the all I hit him. But should I? I continue inside. What's gonna happen from Natsuki's point of view? I'm good. I'm interested to see what's gonna happen from Natsuki's point of view. As I walk the corridor, I see the other clubs being busy with preparations. I then step into the club. Now it's time for me to wait. Wait for what? The festival, what else would I be waiting for? It does make sense. Now I feel stupid. You hear surprisingly early, surprisingly early Monica. I had to set up the pamphlets. It made it easy for me to be here early. It was bad, and maybe you're right. He wants to say this, that's a strange reason. My eyes glance with a pamphlet I see in the floor with a strange poem. What is that? I bend over to pick it up. I then stand up to read it. Ah, uh, yes. That poem. Was it written by Sayori? Yes. That's my bad one. I need to get to Sayori. I dodged the pamphlet running out in the panic. Don't have done something you regret, Sayori. I remember my pace quickening. I hurry out of the school, being moved towards Bat's house. It was not long until I seen his house in view. But I take one more step, everything seemed to stop. Uh, oh boy. That's not, whoa, in a moment I was somewhere else. What is this? Whoa, my confusion not tell us I thought I'd never forget. What I saw was serving. Ah, oh, yes. Reversed in everything. Uh. Check history a lot. What is happening here? What 
what's happening here. All of the, um, um I'm just gonna flash this on screen real quick. All of the, um, all of the, um, um poem things, like the, um, um writings in Natsuki's diary are gone. What the fuck? Everything just disappeared from that folder. Did everything disappear from the characters? No. Air Inflex is still here. So it's Monica CHRS. But yeah, the game deleted both of those, um, uh, log files for Natsuki's, for Natsuki's, um, journal. Sorry? But why? I never thought what about that. Why am I even here? Why am I seeing this? I don't I feel my mind get foggy. My vision then was whack, but we'll see what that history has to say about this then. Uh bitter f no, it's not bitter fate. It's not bitter fate. It is um But yeah, as I was saying, this, there's no new files anywhere. Uh, and the uh, Natsuki Journal text files were deleted. Morning's always so enjoyable, but what was that dream? It seemed a little too real to be a dream. As I changed my uniform, I listened to my father's call. Natsuki! There it is again. My father, who had once only came up once a month and decided about a week ago to start coming home every day. It's not been fun to come home since. Natsuki, come down here now! Impatient prick. Yes, Papa! I finished again already, grabbing my bags and was placed on the floor. One of the few nice things I had. I walked downstairs, myself slightly hitting the stairs. Perhaps this goes by quickly. What took you so long to get up? I was having trouble getting my uniform on. You should know how to put on a uniform when you're 18. I'll look away before I feel fire spread across my cheek. Just get out of the house. Oh boy. Is this where we see a lot more dad suki abuse? Because if so. Uh, okay. I feel it here and I'm inside of my cheek, but I run out wiping it away. I slammed it over behind me knowing it would cost me later on that night. Can't take that back now. Yep, you can't take that back now. I then Harry to school. That was until someone ran into me. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry, Natsuki. Why were you running? I woke up late. Monica woke up later? That doesn't even believable. Hey, Natsuki. Sorry about that. Why are you in such a rush? Trying not to be late to school. Classic Monica. Yeah, this is that too, so we're gonna see a lot more of Natsuki's, um, thing. I wish I could check the, um, the, um, INF files, but they're not here. So, yeah. And, I have a question, Kara. Does, um, does messing with the INF files at any point change what happens, or does it stay... Does it, like, not change what happens in the game? Because I want to know what would happen if I changed, like, serious depression rate early on. It doesn't change? Okay, sweet. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It's just, like, a stagnant value in the game that doesn't change. Especially if you, if you change it manually. But, yeah... Can't give up a perfect girl for all the guys. Of course you are. Having known you for this long, it really doesn't surprise me. Okay, so you say to check the um the uh, history a lot. Is that because some of the um glitch text is gonna show up as actual text in this? Ooh, I wonder how all the glitches are gonna be from Natsuki's point of view. Is she even gonna see any glitches? Is the game even gonna glitch? Of 
close you are having have known you for this long. It really doesn't surprise me. A lot of texts that will show up and markers that will show up in that history. Oh sweet. Okay, sweet. And she sees Yuri's yeah. She sees Yuri's body, yeah. I didn't defend her. Ask you, have you seen the icon of house yet? Who's Yuri? Never met someone with that name. My vice president? Sounds like from my dream. Did you make a facial replacement for me? What? No! Probably just some dream I had last night. I had some strange dreams, Monica. But being caught personally can be stressful. You do tend to take most of the work. So your stress is your own fault. Maybe it is. I see Monica start walking towards the school. Where are you going? We still have school and I don't wish to mess up my note night record. Of course you don't. Monica continued to walk away. What's the problem? I don't seem like we were bothered. What was her deal? I know, right? You don't need to yell. I stay quiet as you walk to school. As I see the school building, I think back to our conversation. What is the coincidence of us having the same dream? Say this song for my dream, right? I might ask Yuri. Hey Yuri, do you have a dream last night about a girl named Siri? I'm not a little bit of a personal question. Dreams are an extension of ourselves, and I get it. I'm only asking because I have a dream that I think is similar to Monica's. Well, if you're curious if I did, then yes. I did have a dream with a girl named Sayori. You. I'm getting to class. You can ponder about that and be late. Now you sound like Monica. Oh. Oh, am I now? Yuri, who is usually timid about a lot of things, makes me surprised that she was so open today. What's gonna happen today at the club? I felt like you're running slightly, turning to be late. I pitched into the class intently. I hate how hard these classes are getting. I should ask you for help sometime. I glance in her direction to see your face on the textbook. She's lucky they never call on her. I'm not sure how it would go though. The final bell rings and I will sleep out of my chair ready to go to the literature club. I had some serious deja vu from my dream. I like it, Gary. Her expression showing that she was too was not think this. Uh, did any of you hear that music glitch? Uh, hold on. Huh, interesting. I look at your hair and expression said that she was too nothing team thought I had. Okay. We loop cut. Okay. I woke up to hear you just sat there, the thoughts still have been going through my mind. She looked me probably haven't seen me walk over. I'm not the only one having to food, right? Yeah, handsome as well. That's good to hear. Sorta. Of. Let's hit this club, we don't want Monica to be us there again. I'm not racing you again, Natsuki. Fine. We walk to the club then. I'm waiting for that glitch. Okay. We don't talk much to each other. Probably best that we have something to talk about in the club room while we wait. I have my first opening of the club room stepping in. Monica isn't here? Really? Gear walks in after me looking around. She isn't. That's a real surprise. Is this different? Okay, it's fine. It's normal. The door open again. Guys, I'm gonna go get something. Alright, Monica. That was weird. Yeah, what was even the point of that? I think she wanted us to know that she was here and that there is still a club. That makes sense, but how does she how she deal was really weird. I think about today has been weird. Yeah, but what does she need supplies for? Well the festival is next week, something like that. You're probably right. It opens again. I'm back! And I bought a guess with me. Eh? Uh, yes. Seriously, what a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. What do you mean, Natsuki? 
But anyway, welcome to the club, Bat. What is he doing? I think this club is a good place. This is just a club with three people. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. That's key. What's with this feeling of deja vu? Anything happened in the ba ba ba? No, nothing happened in the ba 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 ba. Nothing happening in the blah 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 blah. What's with the feeling of deja vu? Don't spook me out. Anyway, this is not ski energetic as usual. Energetic, I guess I can be. And this is you, either way, it's us, man. It's nice to meet you. You are more timid now than ever, probably because of that. Yes, yeah, nice to meet both of you. So I ran to bed in the classroom and he was allowed to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance what we bought anybody new? Well, you know, seriously being left on the dog sucks. Sorry, sorry, I didn't forget that, but I just had to run to him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Bat? Wait a few desks of entry on the table. Gary walks the call in the room and opens the closet. I then sit across from Monica. I then see Bat sits next to Monica. They do know each other. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you go out at home, okay? And it's personal to the club. It's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. That's why I throw out my people in the club yet. <sighs> All right. All right. I'm surprised I'm not building the club yet. You must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people have any interest in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't have your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. If it makes school events like the festival that much more important, I'm confident that we can all really go to this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. I reluctantly agree. I guess a lot of different people can work. Just gonna be a little more difficult. We return to the table, can get tea set. She carefully placed the teacup in front of each of us, sliding down the teapot in the middle. You keep all the tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't it help to help you enjoy a good book? I guess. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> I like you're trying to get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Eh, that, that's not... Insulted, you looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and might not be passed up for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Where is my tea, by the way? Oh, my tea's over there, getting cold. Great. Nice. You know. Eh. I'm glad. Jerry Fitling smiles with a belief, and she's over MC Sprite. You know? So bad. What kind of things would you like to read? Well, uh, if this is a serious deja vu, then he'll say manga. Manga. I heard Batmoto quietly to himself, half joking. I hate books up. If this is a matter of deja vu, I don't think I should comment. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. I guess it's bad if we call it. I guess you get too many to work to advantage. Anyway, what about you? Well, let's see. You were chasing the way I'm to figure. Thing, fig, thing, fig, 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 finger. Eh, you know. Alright, we already saw this. We also do some custom shit. Ah, uh, 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 Anything reading wise, and she can talk about it for hours. But you know, I like a lot of things. Yes. Yes, it is. I mean, I've been a lot of lately. Uh, I've read a horror book once. That's really trying to relate to Yuri. I don't think it's working. I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really? If it's strange you think that blah 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 blah. I hate horror. Well, I just... Yes. Because yeah, yeah, you will have to trap your ground with it being a little bit of looking on the... I can get it back. The right thing I like about Papa poem. Now it's you, right? Your own poems? Yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you show them? No! I reversed my eyes. 
You wouldn't like them. But why do I feel like you would? Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Changing all of rankings more than just confidence. The true form of writing is writing to oneself. Yes. 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 This is all the same. All the same dialogue. So go and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we all share uh, blah blah blah. Everyone's even. Yeah, this is just the same thing from uh, Natsuki's point of view. So it's like there's nothing really. Oh yeah, your success system. Yeah. Yeah. Do we as well that? Yep. Mm, I never thought you'd run this club. Uh, what does it say? I've reached him up one time. Like, I've only come forth with one spin on my mind the entire time. There's MC dialogue, or like MC dialogue, yeah. There's like MC narration going on there. Never said join the club. This dude's in the new group account. Look at him, sadly. For our members, we need 400 from trying really hard for the members so we don't have a lot of proposal. We don't be an actual club. Is your group feeling the wrong way? But what's wrong with you? Should I tell Monica? Probably not. I'm sure, not sure she knows. I'm sure she knows about this. Yep, then I hear that speak. Right, uh, yes, yeah, so he'll go in the lunch club. You really mean that bad? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just thought, yep, yeah, mm. Yes, welcome to the lunch club, bat. Right, home, to bring home. See how you refresh yourself. Hope Bass and trying to impress Monica. That'd be sweet reason to end the club. So I'm asking you, what do you think of that? Yeah, it's because he's stronger. Monica, that's not the reason I don't know. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. I'll be heading out now. Alright, Monica, see you tomorrow. Why is everyone yelling? I'm coming with you. Okay. Will you be okay alone, Yuri? I think I should get going. Monica will probably be talking to Yuri for a little bit. I walk out, hang down the corridors. Hold on. I walk out, hang down the corridors. So, what the heaven remember? Maybe now the club can be visual. I wonder if they would have worried about the chance of losing a place given the manga. If I did, then they would have been involved in me. Half the time I was in my thoughts, I finally make it outside. The weather during the festival was so nice. I saw walking home, but I take my time. But I'm gonna deal with it, it's not gonna be fun. I'm gonna slowly, but it's no use. Natsuki, come here! I walked to the kitchen where I had my father. I walk in the looking around for I'm right here now, sit down! I sit down in front of him. I could feel the tense I was without close I was to him. I knew as I was then on for each of him. Natsuki, what took you so long? I wasn't I don't care! Here we go! Here we go, the um... The good old fashioned um... Dadsuki abuse! Is happening right here. You should have been here earlier. But I, I don't care if you have a club. You need to be here. Now go to your room. I buckle my head head low. I gently close the door. I don't want to get slapped more than I have. I land my best cell phone the fire in my cheek. I then sit up. I still need to ride up home. I want to escape this place. But I'm slowly giving up. Others might have the strength, but I do not. Please, someone just save me. I look at the poem and it feels extremely similar. I then write my diary and to see if this thing happens. I don't feel most of the day. Whoa! Day 21? What is this? I've been having a fair amount of deja vu, but that's why I was only made worse. He was also speaking as well. I just hope that he will start tomorrow. I hate this word feeling. Ah, uh, yes. More deja vu. I should not and go to bed. 
I fall out of my bed and move myself forward slightly before I cover myself with my blanket. I then gently close my eyes. Who do you wish for that swollen to appeal to? Wait, you missed a glitch opportunity? Where where would you have put the glitch? I opened my eyes slowly, waiting to yell, but the only thing I hear was an eerie silence. I get out of bed looking around. Did he leave early? I listen again. Nothing. I get dressed and go downstairs. I grab the clothes and pull putting them on. I then put them on and put my bows before putting the last done. I grab my bag going downstairs. You certainly are lazy. Sigh, Papa. Oh, when you yell daily, what else am I supposed to do, father, except be confused? Just get out of my sight. But, go! I ran out of the house, tears going down my face. I rubbed them away to make it seem like I was crying, but end up running it to one. Ow! Sorry! Natsuki? Oh, yeah, I'm really sorry, I was in a rush. What happened to your cheek? Not nothing you need to worry about. You can't have Gary worrying about me. Okay, it's just. It's none of your business! Sorry, I was... I'm sorry, you it just... It's really personal, okay? I understand. Oh, yeah, gently open the door. I gently open the door and you see Sayori just right there, just... Bruh, you know? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, bruh, you know? I'm gonna head to school now. No need to let me know, I'll just follow you. Yeah, that is true. We'll have to go in silence arriving not long after... Uh, I heard that sound glitch. It was like a little, you know, that was a little. The building's clear starts showing in the distance. Looks like the weird deja vu stop. That's nice. It was not to bother me. It's a cool day. That's normal. I start getting the same deja vu feeling able to get to the answer at times. You know, if you have to at least can't believe I'm still feeling deja vu. Sometimes I linger. Kiri, don't do that! I yell at you with the bus for trying not to get yelled at myself. Sorry, I just thought I would say. I've been dealing with that as well, still. It's not as bad as yesterday, though. Okay, so I'm not the only one. I'm sure, Monica's dealing with it as well, but she'll just miss it. Bad also just got here, so you can't be dealing with it. The rest of the day goes on. I find myself at ease once and ends. Finally, time for the lunch club. I see Yuri walking in front of me, seeming impatient about something. Weird. I follow Yuri to the club room. She enters. It's not so long until I enter myself. Getting here as fast as possible. You have plenty of time. I'll be smart today and grab my manga instead of writing. I start walking out the closet. Oh my god. Is there going to be a glitch here? Are you already trying to get into reading? I was going to go and grab it by the couple slots. Jeez, Mark, I'm just trying to be prepared. I know, I know. I was only trying to be smart about it, but then walks in. Uh oh. Unless he didn't know what else, uh huh. I don't worry. What is this? Okay, no glitch. Don't be able to finish me, but at least get my word. Looks like Bat came back. I just don't know what deja vu happens. It's from leaving an edge. Thanks for keeping your promise, Bat. I hope this is a door long of commitment for you. Yes. Oh, come on. Like, you deserve your slack. Yeah. You all just have to drag your harmonica. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if I'm just coming here. They're going to be here. Don't get the end of it. Yes. Whoa. Did the text just move? The text just jittered a little bit. Maybe that's just me seeing things, or maybe it actually just did jitter a tiny bit. Mm hmm. Yeah, what's your problem? Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest to make a book to read? I'll go for a little bit longer here. 
So I've been doing this for about an hour, and I want to get more than an hour in, so I'll do this for a bit longer, yeah. Well, I can't really say no to uh, in this club now, so I'll go back into that way. I didn't mean it like that. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't want to feel left out, so here I got a book for you and we can you know, discuss what we wanted. But I keep playing at least that long and I have an excuse not to be reading. Thank you, I definitely read this. I'll definitely read that. Okay, with that I go. Well, I can follow you on my book. I don't see that. This is really gonna be like the dream. Yes. Ugh. Monica again! I can't get away from it. I then hear someone approach. You are looking for something in there? Hell yeah I do! You know who it is? Ah oh, yes, freaking Monica. Ah oh, yes, the actual t text here. That's supposed to pop up here. The actual text. Fucking Monica. Mm -hmm. You know? Y'all ever just fucking Monica, mm -hmm, you know? She never wants to step back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping a collection of the other zone is else it's just gonna mess it up. I slide a stack of books and boxes off the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah, uh, sometimes. I heard him say the joke. How did you know anyway? How'd you bring it up at some point? Like I just thought. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. And this is more deja vu. I see. I see that look around. Then they pull something out of the stacks of books. There it is! I snatched it out of that sand. I turned to a box of manga and slipped the volume right out and into the middle of the rest. Oh, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I see back a close look at the box that I've been admiring. Paul Fabulous? That certainly isn't very enthusiastic. I'm certain that he's judging. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it at that glass on the door. I point the glass on the door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing back. This is the last time you lunch club. Don't judge a what? Don't judge a book. Oh. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. I see how this is. I see how this is. Can then listen to certain knowledge called Don't touch a book by its cover. In fact, I pull out the first volume of one series on the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. I shove the books right into Bat's hands. Make, make sure it'd be a little more rough than it needs to be. Ah, I see Bat still at the cover. I will shove them if they judge. So they better not complain about moe things. So just stand there. What? I grab the zombie and pulls back out of the closet. I take a seat against the wall beneath one of the windowsills. I then pound their end next to me. Get over here, Bat. One chairs more comfortable. Bat takes a seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh, why is that? I guess it's easier to be close here like this. Don't you say that. You make me feel weird about it. I cross my arms and move an inch away so I feel more comfortable. Sorry. Bat better not be thinking three thoughts, but if he is, I won't be able to tell. Bat then opens the book. Curiosity was my embarrassment. Oh, friend, I move back up and look over sh his shoulder. I really hope he doesn't notice. But how long has it been since I've been in? Hmm? You gonna go back to flip through the old bums every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometime after I've already finished the series. I don't have time to. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I know Bat's finding this boring. But most also, anyways. It's a typical slice of life affair. But a few of them can overhear plot. Are you sure this isn't bunk for you? It's not, even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If I get to share something, I don't care if I'm bored. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I can notice anyone who comes to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not 
Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like, I can't have got a friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even go I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Hey, you still haven't gotten around all that yet? Make sure I punch them in the face. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate to the other losers of the time. But it's probably how someone like you. Mm. Uh. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Well, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know if I've done this. Yeah, at least it's safe in the club room. He'd probably just rather them, or he'd beat the shit out of you. It doesn't say it right there. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That Monica's kind of a jerk about it. I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, so I don't get solved any of my problems. Unless you take them to your place, which it isn't going to be happening. Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? <laughs> Gee, that's enough. Are you gonna keep beating a what? Yeah, yeah. Put the page. Time passes. I feel my eyes aren't really closed. My energy haven't faded. I feel the world around me fade. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? I then collapse onto that. Hey! Whoa, I hear my eyes went through a weird My voice even disappears. Oh. Okay, I see it. I see the glitch text. I see you glitch text. I see all of you, you fucking glitch text. Something throughout. What the fuck? Oh, jeez. Nancy, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls a finger protein bar. He throws it in my direction. My son will laugh again. I snatch the bar from the floor and immediately tear off the wrapper. Told you not to give. I can't even finish a sentence with something in my mouth when you're talking to me. Don't worry about it, she's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Monica! Anyway, when do y'all ship home for now? Uh, I saw... I saw Sarah hanging on that poster in the back there. Okay, that didn't change, it's still... Still glitchy text. Oh, I bet Charles wanted to first. Let's get on the line. Some of the same. You seem to appear in undenying, but with the proof you're undenying. The fluffy personality that you have, and that, that marshmallow shell you have. Hmm? Okay, well, let's tell what the thing is out like. First of all, um. I agree with that poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you an opinion. I can't find anything wrong with it. Yeah, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this one, I could have been doing other things. Ugh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ugh, well, I have people comfortable sharing my poems feels really bad. You was about to show me some dumb poem and go all, Ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. You wouldn't have ruined it. Hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? My comment gets caught in my throat. So, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't think I'm announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. Oh, well, I need to go off of something. Okay, my, my mom's... My mom's in a Zoom meeting right now. My mom's in a Zoom meeting right now, so... I can't be talking. So. I don't know. I guess I'll just like talk quieter now. Because I really want to finish this. I really want to get to the other thing. So. Now that's going to really hate me or something. 
I can't figure out if it's one of the walls that she like my phone. In any case, you're still like showing yours, right? Okay, fine, I guess. Only because Monica won't be if I don't. I'm so sure he won't like it. Yeah. I told you that we weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I'm not supposed to. I am. Why are you so convinced that I won't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people learn me take my writing seriously. Reason why I dislike Yuri. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make you less any, any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it's even hard. I get this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. He could probably do that, but it's so good to explain. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about Simple Bang is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like it's helpful wrong at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. I also got the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more into it than I realized. That's what it means to be for real. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the from here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. Ha, I proved you wrong. Luckily, he doesn't judge my writing. Yuri. Hi, Yuri. I was reading my expression a little when I was sulking. Natsuki, what is it? It's nothing you need to worry about. Okay, Natsuki. Did you just not yell? What was I yelling? Sorry, I guess I must have something else. It's nothing you need to worry about. Why is that not in... Is the club room stretching out that much? No, I was something I wanted to do stretch me out. It's something that happens a lot of manga, so I thought I would take a guess. Mm-hmm. So I can go back to. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not sure I put this one with the new link. Oh yes, hole in the wall. Part two. Part two. Hole in the wall. Part two. You know? Part two. Part to do, you know? This is good. Did you even read it? Of course I did. I can just read it and quickly. It's also a short poem. Right. Someone kiss my grounds. You can barely comment on mine without yours went. I just went with what's on my mind. That's strange, my Monica. I ended that quick poem. What's going on with Monica? That would be nice if you left me alone. Especially with what you're going on about. Okay. Looks like you're left for a moment. I guess I could sleep. I look at the book. I can read it later. I need some rest after all. I rest my head close to my eyes. I feel my mind drifts off in peace. I never thought that I could have had such a rest. Okay. Welcome to reality, welcome to a dream. I see empty space in front of me. Uh, oh yes. Oh yes, doesn't like this. I'm just... Okay, we're good. Uh, I don't think we are though. Uh. So, uh, I had the recording paused. I had the recording paused, so uh, none of you guys got to even see what I saw. But it was not to key in that space room that uh, Monica was in. And the in F3, so Natsuki was in that space room. She was having a dream that she was in that space room. Also, hey, quote, welcome to the stream. 
Welcome to the stream. We're playing more changing perspectives. We're in act two of Natsuki's point of view. Already gotten already getting quite a bit of a Dazuki abuse. But uh, we're trucking through. We're seeing what's happening here. And of course we have Sayari in the background just hanging on that poster, you know? You know? Also, my internet's really active, I think. Yup, my internet is acting up again. Yo, quote, uh, is my internet fine? Yeah, my internet is good now. longer here. Bork, bork, bork. Bork, bork, bork. If you're interested in Natsuki, then I'll keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food now, so she's gonna fussy me pretty often. Monica, you shouldn't talk like that about me. It's very impersonal. This is so boring. What's well, a fifth person when you need them? Then this could have been less boring. It's really nice. It was like chill and get wash off of me. Did she really exist though? The door opens again. Here he then sits in front of me. Sorry, I had to look for a bit. Did I miss anything? Oh hey, Extraction is now available on Netflix. I don't know what that is, but uh, ooh, you know. Did I miss anything? No, but Monica and Bat are done. Oh, I guess I can blink. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be too worried about not sharing. Yeah. What if we could sh I shouldn't be. That's new jab in between us, right? That is true, though. What if we'll sense a vu coming on? Here we go. Let's see if this fight goes from her perspective. Let's see if this fight goes from her perspective, you know. So we already, I already know what I already know what happens here. There's nothing too different here. If I see something different, then I'll stop. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. Let's get back to this. I know what's happening here. Monica doesn't need to butt on this. 
Who's this talking about me, edgy bitch? Edgy. Yep. Mm hmm. Improve anything about that. I think that's just something I do. You think you can count up at you? Just. Yep. Mm hmm. Well, so I don't do things to myself out of pity. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Since so, so you can't. What? Does she actually think she does, though? Oh, fuck. That's. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, go on. Let Bat hear everything. Yeah, Bat. Yeah, Bat's like, uh. What? I can't even look at the history. Oh my. No, I can. Okay. Okay, I see Bat and Marka leave. Oh, uh, here we go. Look, you made them leave. Oh, I made them leave? No, it was your toxic behavior. My toxic behavior? No, it was your edgy behavior. At least I can control that. You can handle your own lifestyle. At least my lifestyle isn't scaring me. Stop assuming I cut myself. At least I can be sure your father beats you. Your reaction proves me right, you edgy bitch. Me? Edgy? At least I don't have to be cute out of necessity. Because if you weren't so cute, I'm sure your father would have killed you a long time ago. Better yet, I'm sure he keeps you alive out of saying our police's eyes. Oh my god, what is happening? Fuck, I'm sure that you found look. Oh, uh -huh. oh, I'm not gonna read that. Oh, I'm not gonna fucking read that. I am not reading that. I am. You can read that on your own. I am. I am not fucking reading that. There's no way I'm reading that. There's no way I'm reading that. There's no one held that I'm reading that. There is no way in hell that I'm reading that. I feel my head drop low. Hurry, now come to me again. I turn right away the one out of the classroom. I see Mark and Bat, but no, I'm only focused on getting home. I've run through the streets. I got my steps ringing off the ground. Why didn't you get to see that? I could feel the tears running down my face. I then arrived at the house, opening the door, closing it quickly. I then ran to my room laying in my bed. I let the tears run down my face. I slowly come down or write it down. Uh not to you again. No entry? Write down what I feel. What's the curious thing about liking? I continue writing. Why am I really aiming at the person I'm writing about in this poem? I then look through it, putting it in my bag. Seems like I've written this before. Nothing I can really worry about. Uh, I then looked at my diary. I just need to write my diary. Oh, yep, there we go. We'll read this and then, uh, yeah. Entry 22. Me and Yuri fought off our pillows. That left me due to our, that left due to our argument. If that wasn't bad enough, I was, so that Yuri said my father became me false and cute. I don't think this could have been any worse. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 